Hey everybody, so this is part two of Unit 5, Module 4, Session 4, the review for Unit 5. Um, I ran out of time the last one, well, I was going to, so I pa I stopped the video and we'll just make a part two. All right, so um, try them, check them. Um, if you get stuck, maybe do one with me and then you try it. Use the grids to model and solve each combination. Uh, be sure to label your sketch and write the answer for each problem. So two-thirds. So first of all, I'm going to find a side with thirds, and so that's this side right here. That's two-thirds. And then the side with four-sixths is right here. Four-sixths. And then I just, I'm going to write it kind of sideways. And then I'm just going to color in everything that's matched up. All right, so um, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight um, colored, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six in each row. Six, twelve, eighteen. Eight out of eighteen. Now we can simplify that. They're both even numbers, so I'm going to divide that by two over two. I might be able to simplify it again. We'll see. Um, four ninths. I can't because. Um, four is even and nine is not and the only number that goes into four is two and four and doesn't help us at all so four ninths is our answer so you try the next one i'll get it ready and then you should be trying it all right looks like the fifths are on the left so i'm gonna do two of them two fifths and then the sevenths must be the top so I'll do five of those two three four five five sevenths and i color them in so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, each of them. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven times five is thirty-five. So ten thirty-fifths. Now, those aren't both even numbers, but I know about the zeros and the fives. They're both divisible by five, so I'm gonna divide it by one. But in this case, the one is five over five. 10 divided by 5 is 2, 35 divided by 5 is 7. My answer, simplified, is 2 sevenths. All right. Solve each multiplication problem and give the answer as a mixed number. Show all your work. All right, so um, we did something kind of like this in the previous one when I had to multiply by a whole number. Uh, oh, actually, it's just a fraction. Um, I was looking at the test for this unit. So it's basically going to be 5 eighths plus 5 eighths plus 5 eighths. That was a bad plus. Plus 5 eighths. So when I'm adding all eights, that means it's going to be over 8. And then 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 eighths. But then I have to figure out um, 20 divided by 8, right? Because that's a, a division problem. I, 8 goes in there twice, 8 times 2 is 16, so there's 4 left over, but I can simplify that to 2 and a half, because 4 is half of 8, 2 and 1 half. Alright, 12 times 2 thirds. So I'm not going to write 2 thirds 12 times, I'm actually going to do this this time, oops, sorry. Um, 12 times 2 thirds, and I'm going to multiply 12 times 2. That's 24. And remember the other side, the three, the eight just stayed there. So that the three is going to be there. And then 24 divided by three. Well, I believe that's eight, All right? Eight. All right, let's keep changing the color. Let's go back to that gray. It's kind of cool. Um, three times, three fifths times six. So three fifths, I could write it six times, or I could just multiply three times six is 18 over five, um, five goes in 18, let's count one, so 55, uh, 10, 15, so I have three fingers up, you can't see that, but um, I think it goes in there three times, it's 15, and three fifths, so my answer is three and three fifths. Okay, this next one, write a story problem for one of the combinations in item four, so question four. Um, if you're gonna do that one, I'm not gonna actually write that one out, but if you're doing that, maybe you're talking about, um, like there was a, that question before, they're making the flag or 
like um, shirt or we've talked about a ribbon. Um, it takes a certain amount or like a, a blanket takes, um, I don't even know what it'd take. It wouldn't take five eighths of a yard. That wouldn't be very much. So maybe we talk about, um, yeah, to make uh, a bow or a ribbon, it takes five eighths of a yard and they're making four of them. That's what I might do in the first one. Um, anything that seems reasonable, okay? Um, just a fraction that you're gonna multiply by 12. Like, I don't think, I mean, I guess you could do, everybody gets two thirds of a candy bar and there's 12 people. I don't know what you do with the other third. Maybe I eat it, I don't know. Uh, you guys think of something for that one if you choose to do that one. All right, uh, number six. Valerie watched her friend multiply three fourths times five six. Her friend got an answer larger than five six. Valerie thinks that the answer is not correct. So we got to think about this one a little bit. Maybe we do the problem, um, but let's change out the three fourths or the multiplication for of three fourths of five six. That means uh, less than a whole. So um, it's less than one. So here's five, six, let's just draw five, six. Okay, um, there's half and we break each of those into thirds. Okay, let me just color it in with this green. There's five, six, okay. So if you get three fourths, if they multiply three fourths times five, six, maybe we just show our picture, right? Here's three fourths. So it's right here. Um, so that would be smaller. It would be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 over 24, um, which is also, they're not both even, but I can divide them both by 3. So that's 5 over 8. So. Five eighths, five eighths is definitely smaller than five six. Okay, because we can even see it because, um, let me see if I can get a different color. This part is gone right here. That part's gone, so it's smaller, right? Um, so maybe we could, so I agree with Valerie, and here is why. And here, okay? All right, number seven. This one I looked at for a little while, and this is a little confusing, but it's kind of cool. Um, fill in the bubble to show what each expression below means, then use labeled sketches and numbers to model and solve each problem. Okay, so two divided by one third. I'm actually gonna do it first. Two divided by one third. So I'm gonna take two. Um, and I'm gonna make groups of one third. Okay, so I'm gonna break them into one thirds. My first group is going to be red. How many one thirds are in two, basically? Uh, that's two, three, four, five. Sorry, just get another color. Six. So I think um, how many groups of one third are there? And it looks like there are six of them. That is a really thick pen. I'm going to change that. Okay, um, next one, one fourth divided by three. So I'm just gonna do my picture first, one fourth. Here's one fourth, right there. And I'm gonna divide it by three. So one fourth, and then divide it by three. Um, the answer is one twelfth. And then um, I believe if I split one fourth into three equal shares, that's what I did there, right? And each of them is going to be one twelfth. So we're going to do this one. All right. Should we look at the challenge? Let's look at the challenge. We got some time. Maria says that dividing one half by three is the same as multiplying one half by one third. Um, do you agree with her? Uh, let's just do the problems, right? Dividing one half by three. So one half. I'm going to do that in red. One half divided by three. Um, did I do that one up there? <laughs> no, that's one third. So one half, oops, one half divided by three. Here's one half. 
and divide it by three. Right there equals one sixth. Okay, let's change colors. Um, I think oh, it's still good. And then this one is one half times one third. Okay, so let's draw a picture of that one. One half, one half, right there, and then one third, one third, right there, one sixth. So, in theory, yes, they are the same. All right, make sure you bring any questions into me, you guys. Um, yeah, keep working hard and try on part one to mix up some of the problems if you thought you got it, try a couple other ones. All right, take care.